Ahmed 3. Ahmed 3, Ottoman Turkish, Ahmed I Salas 30 31st of December 16731 July 1736, was Sultan of the Ottoman Empire and a son of Sultan Mehmed IV, R. 1648 His mother was a matrilar Rabia Gulnas Sultan, originally named of Maniaboria, who was an ethnic Greek. He was born at Hakaklu Pazark, in Dobruja. He succeeded to the throne in 1703 on the abdication of his brother Mustafa II, 1695-1703. Nefsirli Damid Ibrahim Pasha and the Sultan's daughter, Fatma Sultan, wife of the former, directed the government from 1718 to 1730, a period referred to as the Tulip era. Ahmed III cultivated good relations with France, doubtless in view of Russia's menacing attitude. He afforded refuge in Ottoman territory to Charles XII of Sweden 1682-1718, after the Swedish defeat at the hands of Peter I of Russia, 1672-1725, in the Battle of Poltava 1709. In 1710 Charles XII convinced Sultan Ahmed I to declare war against Russia, and the Ottoman forces under Baltic Mehmet Pasha won a major victory at the Battle of Prut. In the aftermath, Russia returned Azov back to the Ottomans, agreed to demolish the fortress of Taganrog and others in the area, and to stop interfering in the affairs of the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. Forced against his will into war with Russia, Ahmed III came nearer than any Ottoman sovereign before or since to breaking the power of his northern rival, whose armies his Grand Vizier Nefsirli Damid Ibrahim Pasha succeeded in completely surrounding at the Pruth River Campaign in 1711. The subsequent Ottoman victories against Russia enabled the Ottoman Empire to advance to Moscow, had the Sultan wished. However, this was halted as a report reached Istanbul that the Safavids were invading the Ottoman Empire, causing a period of panic, turning the Sultan's attention away from Russia. Sultan Ahmed III had become unpopular by reason of the excessive pomp and costly luxury in which he and his principal officers indulged. On September 20, 1730, a mutinous riot of 17 Janissaries, led by the Albanian Patrona Halil, was aided by the citizens as well as the military until it swelled into an insurrection in front of which the Sultan was forced to give up the throne. Ahmed voluntarily led his nephew Mahmud I. 1730-54 to the seat of sovereignty and paid allegiance to him as Sultan of the Empire. He then retired to the caffs previously occupied by Mahmud and died at Top Cap Palace after six years of confinement. Ahmed III's 27-year reign was successful. The recovery of Azov and the Moria, and the conquest of part of Persia, managed to counterbalance the Balkan territory ceded to the Habsburg monarchy through the Treaty of Pasarowitz. After the Ottoman Empire was defeated in Austro-Turkish War of 1716 to 18. In 1716, he sent an army of 33,000 men to capture Corfu from the Republic of Venice, but that expedition eventually failed. Ahmed III left the finances of the Ottoman Empire in a flourishing condition, which had remarkably been obtained without excessive taxation or extortion procedures. He was a cultivated patron of literature and art and it was in his time that the first printing press authorized to use the Arabic or Turkish languages was set up in Istanbul, operated by Ibrahim Mut Farika, while the printing press had been introduced to Constantinople in 1480. All works published before 1729 were in Greek, Armenian, or Hebrew. It was in this reign that an important change in the government of the Danubian principalities was introduced, previously. The port had appointed hospodars, usually native Moldavian and Wallachian boyars, to administer those provinces. After the Russian campaign of 1711, during which Peter the Great found Ainley in Moldavia Prince Dmitri Kontamir, the port began overtly deputizing Phanariot Greeks in that region, and extended the system to Wallachia after Prince Stefan Cantacuzino established links with Eugene of Savoy. The Phanariots constituted a kind of demi nobility, which supplied the port with functionaries in many important departments of the state. In the year 1712, the Mughal Emperor Jahandar Shah, a grandson of Aurangzeb, sent gifts to the Ottoman Sultan Ahmad III and referred to himself as the Ottoman Sultan's devoted admirer. The Mughal Emperor Farooq Sire, a grandson of Aurangzeb, is also known to have sent a letter to the Ottomans but this time it was received by the Grand Vizier Nefsirli Damid Ibrahim Pasha providing a graphic description of the efforts of the Mughal commander Syed Hassan Ali Khan Barha against the Rajput and Maratha rebellion. In Voltaire's Candide, the eponymous main character meets the deposed Ahmed III on his ship from Venice to Constantinople. The Sultan is in the company of five other deposed European monarchs, and he tells Candide, who initially doubts his credentials. I am not jesting, 
My name is Ahmet III. For several years I was Sultan, I dethroned my brother, my nephew dethroned me, they cut off the heads of my viziers, I am ending my days in the old seraglio, my nephew, Sultan Mahmud, sometimes allows me to travel for my health, and I have come to spend the carnival at Venice. This episode was taken up by the modern Turkish writer Nedim Gersel as the setting of his 2001 novel A Voyage to Candida Istanbul. In fact, there is no evidence of the deposed Sultan being allowed to make such foreign travels, nor did Voltaire, or Gersel, assert that it had any actual historical foundation. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.